Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and it's a mystery here in Telling Reveal. Just to remind you, here is the picture of the yarn that I got last time. And I was like, okay, what am I gonna make with it? Part of the challenge was um, in my opinion, like a lot of times I do amigurumi and in my opinion, the colors didn't lean themselves to amigurumi exactly. Um, I was a little thrown off by the kind of more teal blue. And so um, I was like, what can I do? What can I do? And I came up with an idea. And um, that is what I'm going to show you. That's what I'm going to show you in just a second. Before I go there, I wanted to remind you to hook that subscribe button, knit the like button, and leave some yarn in the comments. Uh, these. Um, are fingerless gloves that my daughter made for me and if you want to watch the um, where we talk about them and the patterns listed in that video all the things about these gloves are going to be in the video I'll put the link up here and down below so you can go see that video that we did together and um, hear about these I kept them on because I'm giving her um, the project I made. So I started with blue. Um, I pulled out and I found this. It's easier to see on this side. This is um, the pumpkin from Juniper and Oaks. And I'm probably going to tag her in this video just so she can see how I used it. But I basically took the pumpkin thing um, I just added some plain stitches to the sides to make the whole side of the thing. And then I kind of designed my own little end piece. If I can get it. My own little end piece here. I thought about it after the fact and I probably could have done it so that I had a little bit of a longer stitch in the middle, but it's okay. It looks cute. So it, I got the end bits that I designed on both sides. I've got pumpkins on both sides and I use the blue yarn and then let me show you. For my first foundation row of the um, back loop single crochet, that's how you work overlay mosaic is you put a single, I used this um, teal yarn and I was like okay well it's in, it's kind of hidden. I feel kind of bad about that in some ways but I'm like it just didn't match the, with the other and to show you I also used it again up here where I I finished and I attached my bag and you can see the colors so I used it twice um, two rows otherwise I used the blue and the green um, it's a sage marl so it's got white and sage these are all the like the little cottons that come from like the Dollar Tree or something and then the white and then I made a little drawstring and um, my daughter she took up crochet again I'm so excited I want her to do um, overlay mosaic crochet because I think she would really enjoy it so I kind of showed her a little bit how to do it so hopefully she'll do that and that would be fun for her but I made it I'm gonna give it to her as her own crowd project bag so like right here she has um, the stuff that she's been making for her sister and I'm just gonna stick it in her project bag and zip it up and there you go now she's got a little project bag so she can not have to worry about hiding it from her sister so as long as her project's small it will fit right in there and so that's exciting so um yeah so that's what i've made with my mystery yarn stuff i gotta get some pictures of this of course 
Um, I appreciate Juniper and Oaks for the um, pumpkin pattern and teaching me how to do overlay mosaic crochet. And thank you to Elaine at Penguin Place Crafts. Is that how it is? I don't know. She'll be linked down below as well. Um, Elaine is the one who was the host for this month's mystery yarn challenge. She arranged all the stuff. She took over from Lori, the armchair shop. She, um, Lori did it for a couple years and we absolutely loved it and it was a blast having her in charge. She got to a point where it was just time to let it go and Elaine took over for this month, maybe for future months, we'll see. Um, and she arranged, you know, all the people to get their packages and then she'll be in charge of all the finishing stuff, whatever, I don't know. But you can follow the hashtag um, MYC924 to see what everybody else has done this month. And thank you to Lori. Um, I know that Classroom is in her name and crochet. <laughs> she is a, she's a school teacher and she crochets and so she'll tell little stories about her classroom and stuff like that. And anyway, she's the one who got my name and sent me the yarn, so thank you. It was really fun to make this. Um, not quite sure what I'm going to do with the rest, but I really like how this sage green turned out on the blue. I really think that turned out nice. So I'm, I'm glad for that. And it does kind of look like a, even though it's not the orange of a pumpkin, it almost looks like a white pumpkin on here. So that's pretty cool. So that's really fun. I like those and it's been a great project. So with that, um, well, let's see what's happening for the next mystery yarn challenge and remember to let your light shine through your creations and I'll see you next time. Bye.